Welcome back to 5 minute tutorials. Let's learn about solving integer linear programming problems using the cutting plane method. Similar with the branch and bound method, the cutting plane method also starts with getting the optimal solution which we have done in the first video through graphical representation. Here in cutting plane method we will solve the optimal solution through simplex method and dual simplex method. Why is it called cutting plane method in the first place? It is because in this method, we will add special constraints which are called cuts to the solution space in order to come up with an integer optimum point. Our sample problem will be similar with the branch and bound method. First, identify the optimum solution of the problem using the simplex method. Take time to watch our video about the detailed explanation of simplex method. In preparation for our tableau, convert the problem into a standard form. The objective function will be z minus 3x sub 1 minus 2x sub 2 equals 0, subject to the constraint below. First, 7x sub 1 plus 5x sub 2 plus a positive slack variable s sub 1 to add a number to make the inequality less than or equal to equality. For the second constraint, 4x sub 1 plus 9x sub 2, a slack variable s sub 2 equals 35, and all decision variables must be a non-negative integer. The tableau looks like this, where the first column is the basic variables, column 2 to column 5, or x sub 1 to s sub 2 are the coefficient of the constraints, column 6 is the solution or the right hand side, and column 7 is for the ratio test. Let's identify the entering variable in our first row x sub 1 and x sub 2 by finding the most negative number, and that is x sub 1 which is negative 3. This rule is called the simplex optimality condition. Next, divide solution column by column 2 or x sub 1. So 36 divided by 7 is 5.14 and 35 divided by 4 is 8.75. After that, let's identify the leaving variable in the column 1 by finding the smallest non-negative value in the ratio test which is 5.14 or row 3. This rule is called simplex feasibility condition. Thus, we will consider row 3 as the pivot row and column 2 as the pivot column and having 7 our pivot element. Then we are now ready to solve using Gaussian elimination. Divide row 3 with 7 to have our pivot element equals 1. With s sub 1 leaving and x sub 1 entering, the new basic variables will be x sub 1 and s sub 2. The final result can be seen by setting the non-basic variables x sub 1 and x sub 2 equals 0 in all equations and noting the special identity matrix arrangement of the constraint coefficient of the basic variables, which is all diagonal elements are 1 and all off-diagonal are 0. Let's proceed to row 2. It's positive 3 divided by 7. Multiply the corresponding value for row 3 plus corresponding value in row 2. For example, let's solve the coefficient of x sub 1 under the objective function, which is negative 3. So 3 over 7 times 7 plus negative 3 equals 0, and so on. The same with the row 4 under our second constraints. It's negative 4 because we have a positive 4 as a coefficient under our private column to make it 0. So negative 4 over 7 multiplied to row 3 plus row 4. For example, let's solve the coefficient of x sub 2 or column 3 under the second constraint s sub 2 or row 4 which is 9. So negative 4 over 7 multiplied by row 3 that's 5 plus row 4 that's 9 which is equals to 43 over 7 and so on. But here's a tip. Follow this formula to immediately solve for any respective coefficient. Its new value of cell A row M by column N equals all value of cell A minus pivot column times pivot row. The product of it will be divided by the pivot element. For example, let's solve the value in S sub 2 row by solution column which is 35. Applying the formula and by still having 7 as the pivot element, x sub 1 as pivot column and s sub 2 as pivot row. It's 35 minus pivot column 4 times pivot row 36 divided by 7 which is equal to 101 over 7. After solving for the first iteration, based on optimality condition, there are no negative coefficient in the z row. Hence, we can now say that this is our final tableau, which is read by considering optimal values in the basic column that are in the right-hand side solution column. For example, we only have x sub 1 with 36 over 7 or 5.142 and a z value of 108 over 7 or 15.428. Also, the slack variables x sub 2 is 101 over 7 or 
428, which satisfies the second constraint that 4 times 5.142 plus 9 times x sub 2 equals 0 is equal to 35. On our next video, let's perform the fractional Gomori cut and solve using the dual simplex method. Once again, this is 5 minute tutorials.